welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current brow routine. This is pretty much how I do my brows to try to make them look flawless throughout the day. It's pretty much my everyday routine right now. With few steps, I don't go all out, so you can definitely add some more steps to this routine if you want it to be completely flawless. But if you want it to be like easy flawless, keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. The first step to keeping my brows nice and groomed is I will go in with a brow razor and I'll just get rid of any like loose hairs as you guys can see this one on the top and bottom of my brows. I just reorganized and I misplaced them, so I'm going to skip that part in this video, but that is what I normally do. I don't go all out with shaping my brows because my brow hair is very thin, sparse, and I don't want to take too much hair off, so I just go for any that are like crazy outside of my natural brow line. And then what I do is I go in with a brow gel that will hold my brows in place that is clear. This one that I've been loving lately is the St. Lux Brow Gel. I really like this one because the brush is nice and small. Also, it holds my brows in place so they look a lot fuller and thicker when I go on to my next steps. Now that we got the clear brow gel on, I'm just gonna let this sit and dry down. I have colored my brows in while it's still wet, but I prefer if it is dry. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I will check back with you guys in about five minutes. Now that my brows are about 75, 85% dry, I just don't feel like waiting till they're completely dry right now, but it's okay to go in when they're still a little bit wet. I am going to go in with my favorite brow pencil. This is by Billion Dollar Brows and it is their Brow on Point pencil and it's in the shade taupe. I'm like obsessed with this one, guys. It lasts me the longest. It's the perfect color for my brows and I love the formula. So I just go ahead and fill in my brows with their natural shape. I usually start at the bottom by like drawing a line and I'll just go in and I'm not really too perfect with this. I just kind of glide this along and just fill it in. Just like that. And then I'll take my pencil at the inner part of the brow and just do a few strokes upwards. And that's pretty much about it. And then I'll just go in and fluff them out and blend a little bit with the other side of the brush with the spoolie. And look how natural my brows look. Like they look like I haven't filled them in, but clearly I have. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side and then we'll move on to the last step. So that is how my brows look after those two steps. The last step that I do is I go in with the Melloway Brow Creation Gel, and this is the dark brown shade. I am obsessed with this brush, you guys. It is literally like the coolest eyebrow brush that I have ever used. I don't know why, but literally the best brush I have ever used. And this is tinted. So I'm gonna go over my brows and it's just gonna add a little bit more color to my brow hairs, making them look a little bit more natural. Today's video shout out word is eyebrow. If you comment eyebrow down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. Filming this video, it comes to about like six minutes or so. So very quick and easy. Anybody can do it, I feel like. I will tell you guys, I have gotten compliments with people saying like, are your brows microbladed? And I'm like, what? I never get compliments on my brows. And I've always been very insecure about my brows just because I feel like your brows give shape to your face and they add dimension to your face. And I feel like my brows are just so thin and like, I don't get that. When I fill them in, I feel great. I feel put together. But when they're not filled in, I do feel a little bit off sometimes. 
But this is how I do my brows on the daily. This is not a video of how to get perfect brows with a bajillion tons of makeup caked on your face. This is something where you're gonna have makeup on, you're gonna do your brows, but it's not gonna be a 20 step process. It's not going to be something where you have to cake stuff on where it looks good when you first apply it or it looks good on camera, but when you go out in public, it looks crazy. This is something that you can wear every day. I guarantee you, you will get compliments. The biggest thing though, is getting the clear brow gel at the beginning that will hold your brows in place. So that way when you fill them in, they feel a little bit bushier. And I feel like that is the trick. What you can do after you fill them in, you can go in with a concealer, whether it is a liquid concealer or a pencil, and just conceal around your brows, make them look extra flawless and seamless if that's what you're going for. You can also add a little bit of highlight under there as well if you've got time. But if you want something quick and easy, you don't always have to conceal your brows. It definitely makes them look way more flawless, but if you like to roll out of bed 15 minutes before you gotta leave in the morning, trust me. It's not always tangible to get the concealer in there. <laughs> what did you guys think of this video? Let me know down below in the comments, and I. Hope Hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any other tips on how to make your brows look flawless please let me know down below and if you guys try doing your brows like i do let me know how it works out for you today's video shout out goes out to layla thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to shout out in my videos make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't make sure to subscribe hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time i post a new video love you guys Bye.